All right. So a couple of people have asked me, um, how do I just travel with one backpack? Um, and I usually travel with the Boundary Supply Prima system, and I'm able to pack a lot in there. Um, so one of the things that's very important to me when I travel are shoes. And shoes, the shoes that I carry also depend on what type of traveling I plan on doing. If I'm going to a warm climate where I'm not going to do, be doing much hiking, then um, only limited, it's going to be mostly walking. I'll try to bring comfortable shoes that are not r too rugged um, on the sole. Usually hiking shoes or trail shoes tend to grasp the, the ground very tightly and they end up just wearing, wearing you out a lot quicker. So here are a pair of just basic uh, light travel shoes that are convenient due to their packing um, ability and their, I guess, resistance. So I'll start out with a brand that most of you probably are not aware of. Um, since I live in Asia, I have I recently encountered this brand called um, Olukai. And they're, I don't know exactly where they're from 100%, but I found them on the store here on the online store. So I was like, you know what, let me give them a go. The shoes themselves are actually made out of um, a fabric, as you guys can see here. Um, I've worn these shoes a couple of times around the neighborhood to get a feel for them. They're pretty comfortable. One of the things that I do like is um, they're, they breathe a lot. So if you want, you could wear them um, with light socks. They also can fold really easily. There's a trend here in Asia where people just kind of tuck this in and step on this part of their shoe. This is made out of leather, which is actually quite nice, so it's durable. So yeah, um, it could be flattened out the shoe and it's easy to pack if you wrap it up, right? Um, they're fairly light. Um, the soles are pretty, pretty thick, pretty thick rubber. They're not that cushiony. So you do feel everything when you step. That's one thing to keep a hold on um, or have in your mind when you do this. Um, I did add like a waterproofing um, spray to it. So I don't know why this is turning white, but I'll go ahead and check into that later. Um, but yeah, but they've been pretty comfortable. They've been pretty good. Um, just you, you're bound to feel everything. The soles are, the inner soles are just a regular, feel like some type of like recycled rubber, to be honest. I don't really know. And that's it. The next pair that I have, and these are, you get them in different color. I would recommend getting them in black. Um, you get them with the white sole and black top. Or you could get them with uh, all black. And there's different color variations. But these are Nikes. Obviously, people know these. Uh, they're meant for running. They're pretty light. Uh, their cushion is all right. They're limited on the cushion. They're very light. You could pack them very easily. Um, I would just be careful when you wash them. Wash them with cold water, not hot water. I made the mistake of washing them with hot water once by mistake. And they shrunk. Um, and it was very uncomfortable, I had to get rid of them. So um, yeah, obviously these shoes are in the $100 price range. You can probably get them cheaper now since they've been out for a bit, um, these Nikes. And I guess you could take a screenshot of them and run it through Google and it'll tell you the exact name of them. Um, the sack, uh, They were like the Fly Runners or something like that. Um, yeah. So next, I have a pretty cool new company in the market in the last couple of years. And these are Allbirds. Um, these are the Tree Runners. They're also very lightweight. Um, everything about this shoe is uh, pretty awesome. They're made with um, all basically all natural, I feel like. These are made for eucalyptus trees, the fabric. It's pretty water resistant. Um, and I went ahead and I spray on water resistant stuff so the water comes off. The innards are made with wool, as you guys can see here. Um, and so are the soles. The soles are um, made, uh, the inner soles are made with like a wool fabric. And then this rubberizing is so soft. It almost feels like, I don't know, like as soft as a bubble gum. Um, these things are known for being pretty good. Um, all birds actually, um, do state that they want people to wear these. You can wear these without socks due to the wool and the fabric that they're used. They're very, um, 
antimicrobial. So that means that um, your, your shoes will not smell so bad if you wear them sockless. I myself like to wear socks. I tend to, um, to sweat and perspire and I hate having like a, a, a sweaty foot inside my shoe and I usually like having the socks absorb some of that moisture. Um, I usually use wool socks too, so I'm guessing that if I wear these for long periods of time, they're not going to stink. They're just going to be like warm and damp and that's about it, but they'll dry out pretty quickly due to the materials they're made with. Majority of the th stuff from this uh, shoe are biodegradable and recyclable, so it's actually pretty neat. Um, the stuff that you're, you're able to get with Allbirds, but they've been really, really comfortable. Next, I have Crocs. Um, by the way, these are these can pack so easily. Uh, these are a little bit more complicated to pack. These I would wear with me at all times if I were to travel. I like the color because the color, <laughs> uh, you can't really see it much when it gets dirty due to the gray color. So I think that makes them very practical and very good for, um, for traveling. Um, the, you could also wash them on cold water and with some soap and a brush. And they basically most of the dirt and stains would actually go ahead and wash off pretty easily. Um, there's video tutorials on YouTube on how to wash these. One thing that I would recommend is as soon as you're done washing them and you leave them out to dry, um, I would put in something to keep the, the mold of the, of the shoe, like the shape. Same thing with these and those. Uh, I would recommend putting either a newspaper inside or some type of, of object to keep the shape of the shoe. Now with Crocs, as you guys know, Crocs are made out of like a, a rubberized fabric, or a, a rubberized material to be honest. Um, it's their own proprietary stuff. These are not bad, they breathe in everywhere, they have holes everywhere as you guys can see. Right. Um, the only real fabric that they have here is on the laces and the tongue of the shoe. Everything else is made out of their patented, um, I guess, material, which is kind of like a rubber thing. Uh, the shoe itself has been kind of interesting. It's a little bit loose on the back for me, even though it's a size 42, which most of the shoes are. Um, it's been a little bit loose on the heel, so probably um, my socks will need to be a little bit thicker, or maybe I just need to tie them up a little bit tighter. Um, but yeah, their comfort is pretty interesting. These inner soles are rubber, kind of rubber and they have like these little beads. I don't know if you guys can go ahead and see that. And these stick out. So they're supposed to like massage your feet, but I haven't gotten too used to them yet. Um, what makes these great is that obviously they're Crocs. So they're pretty stain resistant. You could wash them really quickly. And since the only um, fabric material they have are the laces and the tongue, if you leave a fan on them, they'll dry out within a couple of hours. Um, a lot faster than these, I would presume. These dry up really quick due to the materials they're made with. I think if you leave them overnight with a fan blowing directly at them, when you wake up in the morning, they'll be done. And they're also made with wool, so obviously they'll, they'll be dry really quickly. The next ones that I have are the Vivo um, barefoot shoes. These are supposed to be for all terrain and these are low cut. They do sell the boot version of this. Um, I like the boot version, but then I was thinking about it and I was like, well, it would make it easier to travel with a shoe like this. So these are supposed to be for water, land, and cycling basically. So swim, run, well series. So um, yeah, they're pretty, people barefoot are all about getting your foot as close to the ground as natural as you can. To me, I had to, they don't come with insoles, they come with their own here. Right. You guys see this right here. So they're very low to the ground. Uh, to me, that's a bit too much. I had to put in, um, I have some insoles for many other shoes that I do have. Um, and I this one from an Adidas pair fit in pretty well. So I went ahead and used these and I found them a lot more comfortable with that. I'm still not used to the whole like barefoot type of feel, um, but in Asia and stuff like that and places like that where it gets really hot and the floor gets really hot, I need something that can separate the cement from my foot and still create comfort. 
Um, I do like the way they look. I like that the fact that you, if you wear them with a pair of jeans or some dress shoes, they'll, they'll look pretty decent. You could brush them off pretty quickly and they clean up pretty well. And since they're meant to be to get wet and stuff like that, you're not going to suffer much from washing them and letting them dry. They'll dry out really quickly. I went ahead and did spray them with um, water resistant uh, chemicals so that way that if, if it's raining or something like that, they won't get too wet. However, inside the shoe, it's obviously bound to get wet. Uh, they have multiple holes for the shoe to breathe and your foot to breathe. So yeah. Now here are, uh, these have been my recent go-to shoes for exploring and stuff like that. These are not really meant for packing. These are the type of shoe that you would actually wear anywhere you go and then you will pack one of these depending on what occasion you're you're going to go to right uh, these are on they're a swiss brand that have been making shoes um as of the last decade or very sh within that span these have been perhaps the most comfortable shoes um i've worn in a while on makes running shoes um but these are more casual to be honest you can use these for running but um, i like the fact that yeah, cloud tech. It feels like you're walking on soft pavement the whole time. You know, like that rubbery thing that you will get in certain parks, and especially in kids' parks and stuff like that, where you get like a little bit of a bounce when you walk. It feels like that when you're walking on these. Um, the cushion inside is really, really good. The insoles are actually quite nice. Um, I'll go ahead and show these right here. Um, they're just very comfortable. They're made very well. Um, I've been using them quite regularly during this holiday, exploring different parts of the city where I'm at and uh, the neighboring town since we're not allowed to travel too much because of COVID. They look pretty nice too, um, at least for me. And uh, yeah, and you do have that separation from the ground to your feet, which is kind of nice. If you go, if you go into a place um, like myself, I like to take pictures. I like to go to abandoned places. So if anything penetrates the shoe, there's still a bit of separation between my foot and whatever is making its way there. Um, aside from that, yeah, um, these are all mighty recommendable. Uh, they're all pretty comfortable for the most part. I've been wearing these for a bit. The um, the Vivo uh, footwear, I bought them about four months ago and I wore them a couple of times and they've been pretty good. It's just a matter of adapting my foot to be that low to the ground on the angle. Most shoes are inclined a bit. These are pretty flat. Um, but aside from that, I think this all would be great for packing. Um, the Okalua, sorry, Olukai shoes, um, they vary on, on price depending where you get them from. Um, I, I saw them on Amazon and they're definitely a lot more expensive than I would have paid here where I'm at in Asia. Nike, as I said before, these, you get them different colors, probably look on online and try to find them. They're the fly runners, I think. Um, these are the tree runners from um, Alberts and they're, as I said before, if I think if you wear these, you're going to fall in love with these. Crocs, I'm not a big, the biggest fan of Crocs, but these shoes seem really ideal for if you're going to go to a place where it might rain a lot and you're gonna, not going to do much hiking you're just going to do some walking these things are going to dry up in a second obviously if you wear them with socks um your socks are the ones that are going to get wet because the water is going to completely go through the shoe quickly due to the perforations the, the breathing holes that they have um for these for the people barefoots these are actually as i mentioned before very low to the ground so um, they're very comfortable. They're, they can be washed really easily. They dry really easily. They're meant for all terrain. So they're, you'll, be, you'll be fine with these. You don't have to worry about them tearing or anything like that. They're made solid. And these on shoes, once again, amazing shoes. I think you will not regret getting these for comfort. Um, they are a bit on their heavier side compared to the rest of the shoes that are here in the section. But aside from that, they're definitely a pair to try on when you're at home or in your city. And I think they'll, they'll be your go-to shoes too. Uh, these are the Cloud Tech. And as you guys can see, the shoe itself has um, will look different than most of the other ones 
here and they're actually yeah, the bulkiest. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll be making more travel equipment stuff. Um, I tend to travel with a backpack and you guys might have seen some one of my previous videos about the Boundary Supply Prima system. And um, yeah, and I tend to, that's, I spent a year basically backpacking during COVID with just a backpack and two pairs of shoes. So um, yeah, I hope this video is useful. I hope you guys get some information from it. And if you want me to do something more in depth, just let me know and I'll go ahead and try to help out with that. All right, thanks and bye.